Okay, so it's mid-October here in Ohio, and the day was beautiful. As the night falls, the temperatures are going to start to get quite a bit colder. And, you know, we, I think this morning when I got up, it was about 55 in here. Um, and then typically what I'll do is build a little fire the, the late evenings as it starts to get dark, or uh, I'll build a fire um, first thing in the morning when I get up, just to take the chill off. And then the rest of the day, it pretty much goes pretty good. Lavender wants her attention too. So she's like, say hello to the camera. And then you're gonna have to let me do my video, okay? Okay, jump down. Sit down right there. You're good, sit, stay. Anyway, so I haven't shown this side of the cabin much in my videos. Most of my videos have been done from the kitchen side. That's where I do all my cooking, of course. Um, that's where I fellowship with people. That's why I have that big kitchen table. So I spend most of my time over there. This side of the cabin is primarily used um, if I had a hard day working or whatever, I'll crash on the, the couch. What I'm doing for this video is we are firing up the pot belly snow. So I'm going to run you through. Um, I found this pot belly stove in a grange in Pennsylvania. It's a, an Acme giant. Um, so it is, it is one of the biggest pot belly stoves I could find. This cabin is it's 18 feet wide, 36 feet long, but it's really tall as you can see. I'm almost 20 feet to the peak. So as you start to heat it up, of course, all the heat wants to go up on the top. So this gigantic pot belly stove with all of this exposed pipe heats this place up in a heartbeat. So uh, we're not gonna mess around with any fancy fire starters. I don't really buy anything. I use, you know, just whatever I have here at the house. Now, when I rebuilt this cabin, I had a lot of hemlock siding, old barn siding that this stuff is a couple hundred years old. And basically I keep a bunch of that split down for my kindling wood. And then I have, this is really cut down fine. And then also the corn from one of my other videos. All of this corn husk, all of this corn husk is a really, really good fire starter. So I'll use that corn husk. Let's get, go ahead. So basically, I'm just going to use a couple of these and I can keep. Okay, one thing you want to make sure of is that your damper is open and then we're going to get a fire started. Okay. So if you've never used a pot belly stove before, they really do have a learning curve. Um, they get a lot of their air from under the fire through these holes here. And then they have this set of holes that puts the air above the fire. So burning coal and burning wood is different. Coal will not burn hot if it gets too much air from above the fire and you close the bottom. Now, if you open the bottom and close the top, you force all the air through the bottom of the fire, which feeds the fire like a forge does. So you gotta be careful with how you fire a pot belly stove versus some of the modern stuff today. So let's get it going and I'll show you what I mean. I mean, it goes quick. Definitely don't need anything fancy. Now, some of these ones are red oak. It is the roof joist leftover scrap pieces from when I made that.
I'm just going to go right into a coal fire. So now, if I did want to put wood in it, you'll notice a lot of those pieces are pretty long. I can actually open up the top, and this thing drafts well enough that the smoke doesn't want to come out of the stove at all. It is sucking all of the intake air through the top of the stove now. And if you ever needed to cool a stove down for emergency reasons, especially when you're burning coal, this is a very good way because you'll notice that as the air comes in the top, it's getting sucked up the chimney and it's letting that fire cool down. So now I could put a log in if I chose to. I could just drop my log in the top here. And then put this back on. And you'll notice as the draft is increased, it'll start to run hot again. Johnny Appleseed. Man and no. And my puppy dog. Sit. Okay. Sit down. Good girl. Anyway, everybody have a lovely weekend. No, no, don't eat my book. She's a good girl.